guys, here's Madame OK. I want to take you on another interesting and creative journey. This time we will be painting a um, landscape um, during the sunset and uh, we will have lots of lots of beautiful water here. Uh, for that purpose um, we will use uh, either acrylic paint, as you can see here I already pulled some of them, or if you don't have acrylic paint, that's certain you can use tempera paint, brushes, some water, we will need paper towels. I always have some of them with me, some pieces and or either canvas or simply watercolor paper or even Bristol paper. But make sure that if you really want to use paper, um, that you have a masking tape and by rolling it into the pieces like I will do, will do it right now, you see. Uh, you will attach your paper to the ground. So this way um, you will make sure that your paper will stay stable without uh, rolling up um, or wrinkling very much. So now it's time for us to sketch. So I move all those brushes on the side and I want to establish a horizon line somewhere high, 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 high. So that this line divides for me um, the land from the water that I will have here. I also want to establish my sun. So you see, hmm, maybe here nicely, and I will know that I will use yellow color, maybe even orange color in this spot. Now, um, what I want to have here, I probably want to have a little bit of the land. You see, just like this, maybe with some beautiful trees as well. Okay, this I can also add later on. Remember that um, we will use green color in this section and the green is a secondary color coming from yellow and blue. And since I will have a blue sky, there will be no problem to change the color from the blue that comes a little bit lower to the green. I will have some vegetation in my water. Maybe this should be even a little bit taller. I, I can decide later on. So you see, and then what I want to have here, a little bit of um, vegetation here. Like you see, I will know. Um, something maybe um, lily pads here closer to me. I think they always look very attractive. And notice how I make them. It's almost like you would um, draw a palette. Make sure that you get them on the right uh, perspective. So you see, going receding into the space, um, those uh, lily pads have to be smaller. That's for sure, right? But for example, I can have another one here. Make sure that you don't place them in the same order. So you see, for example, this kind of opening of the leaf, not only that it's, um, the leaf is bigger, but it's also a slightly different positioning, right? So I'm always looking at this spot here and maybe I make another one here. Like you see, why not, right? Like here and maybe even adding here. I don't know, like this can come even later on, okay? So you see a little bit bigger here, maybe a little bit smaller. So now, now what will be my goal now is to create, maybe to start with the sky. So I will go for some of the water, uh, water, just a little bit on my brush, and then I have to mix the paint. So I will use white, and I put a little bit on the side, a little bit of the blue. Notice that the blue that I have, I have two different kinds of blue, and I want to use um, the, the cerulean color. I think it will be cerulean. So I'm going on my sky, you see here, and uh, since I want to work with a little bit of texture, so that means that I want to get a little bit more of the paint on it. So it's possible that I still have to add more paint on my palette, you see? And if I want to include um, some clouds, then maybe I should leave a little bit um, of white in some sections, I can make the decision. Now remember that um, with the sunset, the colors will change. I have to have here some orange, uh, colors, not just just blue. Okay, so notice what I'm doing here. I'm going very nicely around this green uh, trees or bushes, uh, and I'm again. I'm not worried. I can change them very easily, right? So I can add green higher, um, or even the blue when the green will dry. So I'm not worried about that. So you see, it's a little bit heavier. I also will switch a little bit my color and I will use a little bit more of the um, different blue, which will be um, called in this case cobalt. So on the top, I want to for sure make a little bit different blue. I don't want to have the same uh, because when you just use one kind of blue and then only created lighter by using white. So that means we create the tint of the color or a shade by using tiny bit of black, and it looks really boring. It's a monochromatic and um, it just doesn't give any extra depth. So you see here is already much richer. 
just because I use this combination of the glass. I don't want to have too much of the of this blow on the bottom, so I'm going just gently, but for sure, I will move it up, 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 right, like here. Okay, good. Now, from there, I want to look at my, again, notice that I clean up my brush all the time, because if I want to use it uh, again, then I have to make sure that it's clean. I will go with the yellow, because I don't want to now get, run into the problem that I will have a green somewhere next to my yellow, I mean, the spot where the yellow should be, and then, and then when I apply really yellow in the section, what will happen, it will not look like yellow, it will look like gray. So that will be the one thing here that I want to avoid. So you see with this color, even applying a little bit of white inside, I make sure that it's there. You see, and it's a little bit heavier. Don't worry about the pencil marks, they will disappear, right? Yellow, it's a very light color in terms of this weight and um, it said it's because I used cadmium yellow, so it said it's so opaque, but in acrylics, it's not really a very heavy color. So sometimes you have to apply a couple of layers to cover the lines. So we have this lovely color now here, and then what I want to do, I want to come with a little bit of, of orange. Now this orange that I want to apply, I can also mix with a little bit of yellow. And I mix it because I don't want to have such a sharp transition right, right away into the, the yellow. Um, uh, into the orange. So you see, I'm adding a little bit of yellow into my orange and then gently, gently, I will push it into the sky, right? Remember that yellow, um, I'm sorry, orange and blue work as complementary colors. So um, when you mix them together, um, they can get you um, a completely different uh, color, kind of neutral, even a little bit brownish, sometimes you say gray. Um, so we have to be careful, okay? They help though, as complementary pair of colors, they help each other to become brighter, right? So you see here, I can get a little bit heavier. Uh, since I already established the base and well, why not? You see here, Bululu. I see that the paint dries quite fast, so that's good. Okay, so I have my orange color, even maybe a little bit more here, why not, right? And later when it will be necessary, we apply more of it. Good, so now from this section, I want to go, not even to the green yet, um, but I want to go to the water and my water I want to make sure that I really apply will apply a darker color. So what I'm doing here as you can see I'm going with this oh la la and I will need this beautiful reflection in the water. So I make sure that you see this section if it has to be left for the for the beautiful um, beautiful yellow color on the water. So you see I'm careful. I'm really careful. I'm done putting, done covering uh, exactly right away certain sections because I want to have the freedom of deciding um, what will happen, right? I want to go, I call it with the flow. So that means I will make the decisions while working on, on it, like the lasting decisions, okay? So here, even here a little bit more. And I also will make the decision if uh, not to put some green into the water. So you see even those lily pads, I'm just going around. I don't need to be super exact because I still working on them. I will apply the paint. I will apply, ooh, this one I covered and that's okay. Um, so I will um, apply them on the top of the water. So you see, I'm going here. That should be okay. Another one here, that should look good. And then a little bit of the other blue just to change the color. Okay, when you look at this, See, we need a little bit variety here. Okay, this will be okay. I definitely have to go faster here, and I like to paint fast. When I paint fast, then I don't need to think about every little detail, because when you do it, then what is happening? On one side is good, but on another one, we can just overwork everything, and it, it, then it, the painting can be boring, and we, don't, we certainly don't want to have it, right? Okay, so this is good now. And what I want to do, again, I have more spots here that I want to cover. Then um, I will, after this, you see, still a little bit going like this here, like this. I want to move to the green color, okay? Like this, okay. That's good, it's really, really good. Okay, from now, the another section will be my green. And as you can see, I have yellow that I can mix with my uh, blue and get beautiful green color. So I have lots of lots of options. So look what will happen here just to show you. Okay, so I can mix my yellow here with the green that I have here. 
you see, and go on the top here, like this, right? And then still I will develop the lily pad, like this, you see? I don't want to have it perfectly even. I also can use this very, very bright, very artificially looking green, which is called Taylor green, right? And go with it here on the top. And I will do the same on the other side. But remember, there will be not just this color. I need to lighten it because I want that it will be visible on the water. And for that purpose, I will use more yellow. See here, I have the color. See, I'm going here and I'm dancing with my, I call it dancing. I like to use this term dancing on, on my leaves. So here, another one. Then I will go here. See here will be okay. Still a little bit more. Another one will come here. So just like this, another one here. We've done a bit more of the white. See like this. And for sure here. So you can notice what I do, uh, what I'm doing right now. I'm building up the paint. I need to have lots of lots of heavy paint here. I don't want to have little because then the painting mm, it will be okay, but we'll we'll miss something. So I love to work with the texture. See, normally I can mix um, a little bit of acrylic gel, or when I use oils, I certainly use the cold wax. And then naturally I get this fantastic, fantastic texture, right? In this case, we don't do that. We just go directly with the paint because most of you um, will use the same approach. You will not invest in acrylic gel unless you really would be sure that this is the way you want to paint, okay? So here we are. A little bit more of it here. And I also, like you see, I'm just putting fast, fast, fast the paint on my lily pads. And again, that's not finished product. I will develop them, but I want this whole painting to come um, at the same time together. I don't want to work on one section above the other section, right? So you see, it's just the indication that I know I have, I have something there. You see a little bit in this position. I certainly will have something here. And then I can create those smaller pads, like you see coming here. And for that purpose, I will use the lighter, uh, well, not lighter, uh, well, lighter for sure, but uh, some more yellowish green. Okay, and you see I'm coming here like this, and I do like it like this. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more of it. I, I can't lose my, um, my line, right? So now my horizon line. Now I want to go to my trees. And for that purpose, I want to use, believe me or not, a little bit of brown that I apply here, just on the line, just on the line here, okay? And then I apply a little bit more of it here. So again, I'm going here and I'm applying this beautiful line. And then I can come a little bit more up, 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 then I'm going on the other side and I will do very much the same. See here, and I know that also here, I have to have some of those trees as well. It's not just the sun, right? And then I can come for the beautiful green section here for the trees. You see here, my trees will be, okay, a little bit more. I can go on the top of this beautiful color. See, here we, wow, with this, ooh, ah, look at this. See what's happening here? That looks really good. Okay, and the same will happen on the other side. So very, very much, you see? Now, whoo, it's more and, and richer, richer, richer. Okay, so now from there, I think I will switch the brush. I don't want to use the same brush. I want to move towards the white color. And I want to apply the white color here on the ground when I will have reflections of the sun. Okay, so here. A little bit more. Notice that the white of the paper is very different than the white that I'm applying here. See, because it creates the texture, it creates the happiness, right? That's what you want to have here. Okay, like this. Remember, I can cover it with the white light, uh, with the uh, blue. Like, for example, coming here, I want to come with some of the blue here. You see, and I have to decide for the shape of this part here. So just a little bit. So you see my paint came here and that's okay. So you see coming like this, very nice. Okay, we go to the other side and that's what we'll be creating. Mm -hmm. A little bit more of it here. You see our lily pads are here. 
I can also go between here, right? See, a little bit to enrich it. Then I want to come here with a little bit of the blue, see? And that's not everything. Now I want to come with the yellow. So I'm taking my yellow here and I want to bring it also on the water. Just a little bit, you see? But I have to be careful that I don't get green and it's so easy to get it, okay? So here's my yellow and I still want to have to get my bright, bright yellow in this section here, see? So heavier and then a little bit of the white here as well, see? So just a little bit and then here and then here and then, 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 then. Very good. So now I take a little bit of the darker color here and I want to definitely, it's black, you can use black, you can use dark, dark purplish color here. And I want to create a little bit of the edge here. Now from there, I want to look, see here for another line here, just a little bit, you see more of the um, definition. And from there, definitely, definitely here, just a tiny bit, you see, just a little bit, having the heavy, heavy texture, right? So that's what we will have here, another section there. And then I will go around, I will go around beautifully here. Okay, fantastic. See, a little bit more here. And then what I want to do, I have to leave this brush and now I will be looking for uh, creating the um, extra uh, yellow color, on uh, placing some yellow color on our already well-developed um, lily pads. So I can go back to them, you see, I need a little bit more definition here. So that's what I'm doing here. And notice how the shape looks like. It's really very um, fluid, I call it, right? Very organic. There's not like heavy, heavy line. Um, a little bit more yellow again, and just a little bit more on the side here. Even in some places could be a little bit, if you want to, a little bit of orange in it. And that should be okay too. I'm just watching that uh, the size is correct. Remember, the more they recede back, the smaller they will be, right? So I have to I have to be really watchful that they will be not too big. Because when they will be too big in the back, then, then this painting will not look correct. And and even when someone doesn't know the laws of um, how the object becomes smaller going towards the back, it's still something could be so awkward that nobody would like to accept it then as, as a good painting, okay? So you see, I'm getting a little bit more of those lily pads and especially here in the, here halfway through still, you see the paint is still wet. So what it does, the underneath the blue, that it interacts together with the paint that I placed uh, on the top, right? So, see here, I still need a little bit more. So this is quite a nice work like this. We just work and work and work and work, you see? And the colors become lighter, 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 lighter. So it's really lots of fun like this, okay? And you see smaller, smaller, smaller. Very, very important that those parts will be smaller. Okay, I still want to go here and there and there and there and there and there and there. There. and I love to work this way it really gives me so much pleasure because I can sing I can talk to myself um, I often listen to the music as well uh, when I paint okay so another another set of patches here that will represent the lily pads okay a little bit more so you can see and then we also will change some of our blues we still will work on getting the blues more colorful you see a little bit since this is such a big part then I maybe maybe make it a little bit smaller and those ones here I make a little bit just a tiny bit bigger so you see here like this now my next session will be again I need piece of paper towel that's for sure I will be looking now and refining a little bit my sky so you see, I'm coming with those colors and I really make sure that I don't see, don't see really white patches. So you see some of those colors, I still want to have greater variety. Okay, so you see, changing it like this, adding that, and you have to go by the flow. There's no recipe. You see, the only one which I can tell you is that um, the higher the sky goes, the darker usually is, right? But it's okay, you can also learn how to break the rules. That's another thing. So you see, here we go, really rich, really rich and rich and rich. And I'm going to my trees here, all my bushes, whatever we decide to call them. 
right? Like you see, it's getting better and better and better. You see, but again, I want to work with texture. So therefore, whatever I apply, I apply it heavier and I make sure that it's heavy, okay? In some places, I have to decide what is more important, sky for me or the front, the water, because one part can't compete with the other. So I have to decide which one I will simplify. And I decide that my sky can be simplified a little bit. See, so what I do with color that is off, yeah, uh, off um, white, and it's more, uh, just has a hint of blue. You see, I'm simplifying the sky. Again, I still keep these beautiful strokes visible. So you see, but here, that's what I will have. And I can easily move some of the paint this is especially this beautiful orange, right? You move it even a little bit higher. And I'm finding out what will work here, what won't. If something doesn't work, remember, it's acrylic paint. Once it dries, we can cover it easily with uh, another layer, right? So you see here, we can see more of our sky. Now, I also want to apply here some of the white patches, like you see here, because that's what is happening with this crazy, crazy sky during the sunset. A little bit darker here. Okay, so you see that's good. Now, I still have to go to my lily pads and this time I will be looking for some, believe me or not, I will look for some of the stamps here, right? And I still have to put the flowers. That's another thing here, you see here, one, right? And I'm applying another one. Let me see, the brush doesn't work so well. I'm just surprised why. I have a darker paint and a little bit of brown. I'm coming here on the, maybe it's too soft. Sometimes you have to find out. Some brushes are, like you see, I have to give a little bit more of feel. I don't want this, this will be so stiff. I think it's my brown that became a little bit too dry. You see, the, the brown that I have here on the side. So maybe I have two options. I can use a different brush see that it's a little bit stronger so it will not give up on me you see oh, that would be okay here you see I will apply it here I get a little bit of this color here inside and I want to have some of it here some of it maybe there you see I really want to work with colors that will be opposite I want to give more life to my painting so certainly those colors will help to keep it this way you see especially there where I have the orange color and blue. Wow, oh, they become much more alive, you see? So something coming here, aha, uh -huh. not so much there, you see? So this is good. Now from there, what I want to do, I want to still apply more of the blue, right? And I will mix this blue with a little bit of my kind of blackish color, but not too much, you see? And I still will go here because I want to have some darker spots here. And then, and then what I want to have, I want to have, let's see, still coming here with more paint. You see, refining everything. That's important because I'm the boss, I can do it. You see, I decide that in this section here, I definitely need more refinement. You see, then I'm coming here with connecting the colors, making them, them working together, you see? So I decided that this has to come more here. Ah, ha, ha, that works really well here. See, and the same in this section, I for sure need to work on it. See, still a little bit more. It's just a little bit too much white to my taste. Okay, and I'm going here with a little bit heavier paint. Ooh la la, that's good. You see the same here, heavier paint, heavier paint. Remember, heavier, heavier, heavier. Now, from there, I want to create, believe me or not, now I will go for something that will be wonderful, and those will be the flowers. So I start with the white, and I want to go and create this beautiful lilies, okay, water lilies. So I'm going here like this, I'm going here like this, I'm going here, and then at certain point, I will apply a little bit of the pink color here, right? So you see a little bit of it here, a little bit there. Okay, now another one, I still put the yellow here, but for this, I will still wait. And then another flower will come. Let's see where we can put this beautiful flower, probably here, you see, just a couple of strokes. Okay, and maybe tiny bit more of white here, good. Now, the other one will come, see, the other one may be here. Because we like, like, we like flowers, right? And the flowers add so much colors to everywhere. 
when you place them. Okay, now the little bit of yellow can come inside of this flower. So I have to make sure that my paper towel is clean and I don't have a clean piece of paper towel. So I have to get one now here. Good. And make sure that my brush is really, really clean when I pick up the yellow, okay? So the yellow will come inside of my flower. Mm -hmm, that's good. Now I want another one. But right now I'm still working on my lily pads a little bit on the a little bit on the um, pinkish side, okay? So here I apply another one. You see the green starts coming into it, so I have to be really careful not to overdo. See, I apply one stroke and I don't want to mix it too much. That's important. Okay, like this. Then we come with yellow inside. We apply more of those patches here. You see, they will now continue looking like my lily pads. So that is the trick. You start with one, you can develop a little bit more than the others. And the rest, as long as you keep approximately similar shape, will be read the same way. So you see, ha, 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 ha. Okay, so lots of lily pads. Um, uh, water lilies what i'm talking about the lily pads and so on okay good so you see here it's another one maybe another one even here right it depends how much you like to how much you like them and if they will work in your painting so here i certainly can apply another part here because it should be bigger and then i will come with some yellow like you see yellow will work well as long as there's no green in it you see here that's good and notice how heavy i go right i really want to have it heavy so it's really, really, it's getting richer and richer and richer. And I like it like this, you see? Now I can come with a little bit of yellow and this is, this is my representation, you see, to make it more interesting. So we start putting, I call them uh, cherries on the top of the cake. Okay, so this, you see a little bit of this here, <laughs> here, and the same will happen here. Good, so this side as well. Good, look at this, what is happening. Now we go back to our lily pads because I still want to have them more developed. You see here, a little bit more and I will need to have them a little bit darker. Now with those branches or whatever comes here, those green stuff coming here, I want to make it a little bit stronger, right? So you see, I, I just want to have the, the colors change that they are not the same all over. Even here, you see? And then we'll have some reflection in the water because remember, water is there too. And when we have the water and we have an object, then we certainly have to have it, have to have reflection of it, right? So you see here, I can go a little bit darker. I'm just, just testing what would be the best. You see, a little bit darker is okay, right? And then I need to also go into my, my trees here in the back, you see? So I'm adding some colors here. And I'm also watching that I will have this line really pronounced here, right? So you see, I can see it clearly. Okay, wow, that's good, you see? And then maybe a little bit of this reflection here that will also help my painting, you see? So um, you really do everything by, by uh, working, right? You discover what will, what will uh, be a better addition to your painting and what should maybe disappear. Now, the next step will be uh, to create the uh, nice reflections. So for example, for this flower, I need a little bit of reflection here. The, the leaf here for sure needs some reflection. This is good. I need a little bit of this here, a little bit of this here, and maybe a tiny bit here. Okay, so you see we have all those things here now and that looks really good. Now, do you think that you can add some orange here? Because if, then it's the time to do it. So you see, I'm still adding some of the blue because I like to have this heavy texture. It's just, I feel so good when I have heavy, heavy paint on my canvas or in this case on the paper. You see, I even break it a little bit. I don't want to have it one even um, white color here. So you see, I'm breaking the space. I'm breaking the space with the blue. Right, like you see here, just a little bit. And then I can move the white here. See, so again, just going with the flow, feeling what would work well in the painting. See here, we can break it as well. It just has to work well for you. And this is the whole idea, you see, when you paint. So you see, it's quite rich now. And this is, <clears throat> now I'm a little bit of orange here, and I think we can play, no, the orange didn't work there. Okay. So we change it right away, you see? We're changing it here. Okay, that's good. OK, 
Okay, and then there's a little bit of the land here. That will work well. What else do you think we should add? Are we okay already? Or should we, do you think on the water? Still a little bit more, maybe a little bit on the water. You see those colors. Since we have paint here, well, why not, right? To add, if we have to change the shape, we can certainly. Remember some of those um, green branches, I don't know how to call them, right? Could be a little bit uh, narrower. So it's time, if I want to change it, that's the time for it, you see? And then I have my lovely, I want to simplify this one still here. You see, and then I apply a couple more of those lovely dots here, just, just a tiny bit, you see, just a little bit. That's again my improvisation. I decided that this, whoop, too much white, you see, that this can work better over there. I think it's too much of white here. So you see, I'm moving it here like this, and I'm blending it, okay? And I think that will look better. And then I'm going for some blue here again. See, because there was too much. Okay, just a little bit here. So it's always, the painting is never finished. Until you as an artist say it's enough, I'm tired, or I think I already said enough. That's how it works for artists. Okay, so you see here, and I think that would be very, very lovely like this, okay? And then we put some of those beautiful flowers here still, because we have them. But you see, just a little bit, and then we can call it quick. So, um, I think it's done and I'm quite happy with the results um, you see still maybe a little bit more of it here what do you think just a touch yeah. just a little bit not too much though right and that's it so I hope that you enjoyed this project and you would now work on your own then in this particular style have a good day bye